Hello, Aries. Hello to all of the Aries out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the last week in March. This reading is for all of my Aries. Happy birthday. If your um, birthday is, um, well, hopefully by the time you read, I mean, you watch this, it will be... The, we, we will be in Aries season, but happy birthday anyway to all of my Aries. This video is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week in March. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, you like the way I do my readings, and you would like to show some support, hit the thumbs up image so that this video circulates to others that may need enlightenment, encouraging words, guidance, and, and clarity pertaining to their situation. Okay. Also, if you have not subscribed and you want to show support that way, hit the subscription link along with that notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Okay, Spare, what energy do you have for the sign of Aries? What is the energy for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the latest week in March? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Empress. Some of you definitely have some children. I see three so far. Two boys and a girl. Could be vice versa. Okay. We have the King of Wands. Also, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. <clears throat> oh. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. So, I see you're not seeing eye to eye with someone. Eight of Wands in reverse. The Hermit card, Virgo energy is here. The Magician, Virgo, as well as Gemini. Let's get one more. One more card, Spirit. That's too many. One more. Okay. I'll take these two. The Seven of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. All right, so some of you, someone wants to start over. Someone wants to reconnect, come in with um, something a little more tangible. But this person want to reconnect and start things over. Someone from your past, someone that you are already with. They want to revisit things and they want to move to a peaceful place with you. This person wants to come back in and move to a peaceful place with you. They want to move towards a new beginning. Um, this person wants to nurture and they want they want to nurture the situation. And they, they may want to nurture children, nurture their situation, but they this person wants things to grow. They want things to grow. They're very motivated, but they want to take the leader, the leadership role. But I don't see, I don't think you two are on the same page. 
you two are going in two different directions, thinking about two different things. I see you two just passing by. If you live in the same house with this person, as this person comes in, you are going out and vice versa. And action is not being taken. Things are moving slow at this time. Because you two are on two different pages. Someone with this hermit card here has taken their energy or um, withdrawn from the situation. Someone is in solitude now, spending time meditating, trying to gain some enlightenment, trying to grow within themselves, gain some type of self-discovery. Believing in themselves. Doing what they need to do for their success. With that magician card. And I feel like they're doing that because someone has a decision to make. Someone is, has um, options. Lots of options. Addictions. And someone is trying to get clarity about this, this union. And with this um, Ace of Swords, I feel like someone is going to communicate their truth. Speak their truth. And um, someone is going to overcome some obstacles because of their faith. And you, you, I see you working things out with this person. This person may be immature though. That's what I say. Someone may be immature in this situation. I don't know which side of the fence you're on, but there is immature energy here outside of the children. Let's pull your partner's energy. I think I said comment and let me know if this is your story. partner may feel stuck and look seven of cups bottom of the deck someone has multiple things going on what's, your, what's the energy of aries partner yeah this person is coming back in manifesting see you may have cut them all someone was cut off with this queen of swords someone was cut off with this queen of swords and someone is manifesting, come taking action to come back in. Could be a Sagittarius to balance things out after some type of fight or argument. Because you make them happy. You make them happy or it was illuminated to you. Something was, okay. Someone, it was illuminate, illuminated to, I feel like this is you, Aries, because Emperor is Aries energy. That, um, let's see, why is this Emperor here? Yeah, this may be a marriage, because I see an Empress and the Emperor. Why is this Emperor? Okay, here we go. There we go. Yeah. See, it was illuminated to you that um to someone to take go in to take action. I mean go in to take action. To go in to have this new this new beginnings with this ace of cups. Take control of the situation. To work on it. So there can be some type of success. But I feel like I don't know again which side of the fence you play on. Something could because you have sevens, two sevens. So I feel like someone, something has to come to a completion because you two still are not seeing eye to eye. It's like one person wants to work on this and they're waiting for the other person. And the other person is not moving because they feel like darts are being thrown at them and they feel like their back is up against the wall. So they're like, someone is not moving because of that. That's why I said you two were on different pages. 
But I, and look, another seven. You got three sevens here. Something is coming to a completion, a cycle is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Because of a lie. Someone is lying about some options or something. Mm -hmm. Someone is lying about some options, losing, um, um, not having emotions. Someone is uh, um, unemotionally available. And it's because this other person has options. So someone withdrew, withdrew, that, withdrew their energy and started focusing on their money. Someone is focusing on their money and the children because they know that this person is sneaky. And you two may be mirroring. No, you're not mirroring each other's energy. This person wants to come back in. This person has a decision to make. Yeah. And they are taking forever to make this decision. At Knight of Pentacles at the back, a bottom of the deck. Yeah. Taking forever to make the decision. So let's get some advice for you, Aries. And then we are going to close this out. Because it's like, this person is trying to come back in to reconnect. But why are you coming back in to reconnect when you have all of these options? Like, are you playing? Like, what, what is going on? I'm surprised the double card didn't come up. Come up. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for that sign of Aries? What advice do you have for... Okay. <laughs> there you go. They flew out like an airplane. So, Spirit is saying you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. And that's why you withdraw your energy and you started focusing on yourself. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. I feel like you need to speak love into yourself. Speak love into yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel like there's anger here. Because at the bottom of the deck, it says the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. And then there's a bunch of children here. So maybe some of you need to just focus on your children at this time. Because this person is coming back in. They want to reconnect, but I don't think that there's... I feel like they're not right. They still have lots of options. I'm going to leave it at that. This is your reading. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like. <clears throat> well, hit the thumbs up image. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.